Hi guys, so here's the tutorial for the bunny ears that I showed you guys the other day. Este es el tutorial para el cintillo de orejitas de bunny que le enseñé el otro día. This is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need headband. Usually they come like this, plastic. Vas a necesitar cintillo, usualmente vienen así, plástico. Alambre, like a thin wire. You're gonna need ribbon, media pulgada o menos, cinta. Vas a necesitar tool, you need tool, any color that you choose. You're going to need some flowers, some trimming, some pearls, algunas florecitas, perlas, lo que quieran ponerle. Tijera, por supuesto, scissors. This paper, I choose to do the little leaves on the side. Ese es el papel que escogí para hacer la, las uh, hojitas de lados. Uh, cualquier florecita, cualquier trimming that you have, any trimming, anything that you have at home. I'm going to try to do a little bit fast because I know it can get elongated, you know, like this uh, tutorial. So... Lo voy a tratar de hacer bien rapidito para que no se haga muy largo. So, primeramente, first of all, you're going you're gonna to wrap your headband. Vas a, a forrar tu cintillo. Lo tengo aquí medio forrado para que ustedes vean cómo se hace. Usualmente comienzo en la parte de abajo. You start, you know, you glue the first uh, tip here for the ribbon. And then you start wrapping the headband around and around. Try to overlap. So you can choose any color that you want. Any color uh, you choose to, to do your headband, any ribbon color. Then at the end, you're going to use your glue again. And you're going to put a little dab here. We're going to put a little bit of glue. You're going to wrap it. Either you wrap it again. You cut, you're going to put a little bit of glue again. So after you have your headband cover, then you move into cutting your wire to do your ears. Usually, um, I would say it's like maybe like 12 uh, inches. I'm going to just measure the this one and cut. If you're using the other uh, pipes, si vas a usar el otro, es así que se ve, sin el tool. Cubierto de tul, que también es bien bonito. It's very cute as well. So after we do this, we're going to fold kind of like to see what, what size ears we need. Vamos a doblar para ver qué tamaño de orejita queremos. Tenemos que dejar un espacio. We need to have like a space here to twist. We're going to twist and we're going to twist again. Leaving this space here to be able to wrap around our headband. Hay que dejarle un espacio así para poder... Uh, doblarle al cintillo. So, luego que tienes tu ear, puedes hacerle la formita. You can just do the little shape like this. You can leave it like this. You can leave it however you want it. Let's do like a little shape like that. Then we're going to take our tool. This our tool. We're going to take a, a like a piece of tool that kind of like wrap the ears. Kind of like this. And what we're going to do, we're going to wrap the ear. We're just going to kind of cover it. La vamos a forrar. Básicamente, esta es mi, mi forma de hacerlo. No sé si hay otra forma más fácil, pero esto así lo forro. Y luego lo voy a amarrar. I'm going to tie it at the end just to hold the tool down. You can either have like a little bit of, like another piece of tool. Puedes coger otro pedacito de tul uh, para amarrar. And you're going to tie it like this at the, at the edge. So pretty much you tie it. After you tie it securely, después que lo amarren bien,
van a cortar el exceso de tul. You're going to cut the excess of the, the tool. You're just going to cut. So this is what you're going to have. Esto es lo que te va a quedar. Luego que tengas tu, tu orejita cubierta, la vas a poner, you're going to put it kind of like wherever you want it, like right towards the center of the headband, en el medio. You're going to just wrap it. Lo vas a doblar para un lado. Vas a doblar para el otro lado. And then you can just Puede manipular la orejita para donde mire, para allá, para acá, para donde quiera. You can manipulate your ears. Okay, I already have one done here. Uh, so we can just, you know, try to be fast. Okay, I'm going to do the other ear here next to it. But voy a poner la otra orejita al lado. Okay, after we have our ears. The next step will be doing our bow, which is another bow of tool, like otro um, lazo de tool. Uh, le voy a hacer de otro color. I'm just going to use like a different color tool. I'm just going to fold a few layers. So lo voy a coger como un, un, un poco de, de, de layers, lo corto, and we're just going to... Just hold it in the middle. Y lo voy a agarrar en el medio. Esto va a crear como forma de lazo. This is just going to have like a shape of a bow. Again, you're going to take a little bit of tool, like a little strip of tool. Then you're just going to tie it in the center. This is what you're going to have. You can trim it down. Lo puedes cortar si quiere. Lo puedes dejar así. Ya depende de ti. Either I wrap it around. Lo puedo amarrar o lo puedo pegar con glue. I can wrap it around or I could just glue it with my hot glue gun right in the in the front so we have our bowl after we have our bowl um it's up to you what do you want to do for the center you can use a few flowers like i did here you could do two flowers one flower ya depende de ti lo que quieras hacer para el centro si quieres um hacer varias florecitas dos una ya depende de ti ¿Qué quieres hacer? It's just up to you. So right now, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use one of the flowers in the center. I have little ones. I could just add it to the side. Tengo algunas florecitas que le voy a poner en el lado. For this one, I used like little flowers that I found on my trim box. Para este usé como unas florecitas así que vienen así. So we're just going to glue the center. I'm just going to glue. Voy a pegar con cuidado en el ladito. So this is pretty much what you have. If you want to add the little gold leaves that I did before, si quiere agregarle las hojitas, solamente cogí un papel, un pedacito de papel. I just took like a little piece of paper. Either you can draw like a little leaf or you can just cut, let's say, it's just like a shape. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just going to cut two. No tiene que ser perfecto. Puede cortar dos.
vas a tener esto. You're just going to have, you can just add it to the side. Lo puede añadir en un ladito, ya depende de tu estilo y tu diseño. I'm just going to put it here. <coughs> Voy a coger el otro. I'm just going to take the other one and I'm going to put it in the bottle. Just make sure that it's blue, make sure that it's... So this is what we're gonna have. Now, for this one, you can see that I've added pearl to the tool. You don't have to do it. No tienes que añadirle. Para este yo le añadí unas perlitas. No tienes que hacerlo. No es necesario si no te gusta. Pero yo creo que se ve cute. I'm just gonna add it para este. Voy a añadirle otra aquí. I think it's like a cute detail. So this is pretty much what we end up. If you want to secure your bowl, again, if you want to secure, you could just glue it. Make sure that you glue so it doesn't move. Make sure that you cover your wires. You could put glue so it doesn't poke you. Puede ponerle eh, glue o puede ponerle, vamos a decir, un pedazo de cinta para que no se vea. El, let's say you want to just cover it. You could just put ribbon in the back, you know, para cubrirlo. Solamente para que quede bien terminado. So this is it. This is pretty much it. So este es el resultado final. Espero que le haya gustado. Puede hacerlo así. Esto es sin el tool. This is without the tool. So as you can see, I did like different designs. It is up to you, the style that you want to do. You can add as many trims that you want. Puedes añadir. Espero que le haya gustado. Try um, share, you know, eh, mándeselo a sus amigas que quieren hacer el tutorial. Uh, para just, I see you next time in otro tutorial. Bye, guys. I love you.